consciousness to be out of the control of the subconscious and subservient, you know, serving the programming instead of serving the subconscious. So in other words, you know, if you brainwash somebody or program a person to go do something, I heard about the Manchurian candidate and everything like that. You can program a person to, despite their free will and conscious thoughts or the, the powerful subconscious, the programming takes over and a person goes and acts out the programming without the intervening of the subconscious, which is supposed to be the rational part. So programming is crazy. So you have that physical programming that can take place that can basically control you know, the entire body. So the brain is a computer. It can be programmed. Plain and simple. And this is how we understand, how we know that human life is, is different, especially from all other life on this planet. And the main reason is because of our consciousness. But we can be programmed. And everything has been programmed when you really understand to seemingly do something on this planet specific to its species or what have you, vis-a-vis -vis the way we act on this planet. Plain and simple. If you look at every other life on this planet, they have a, a role. It's a role, a symbiotic role when you really pay attention, that they all go about. We, we know about ants and how they build the mounds and everything that they do. We know about lions and how they run in prize and everything. Wildebeest and buffalo, how they act. Bees in, the, bees in a beehive. Everybody seems to have this program role that they do and how they exist on this planet. Plain and simple. But you have us who can be programmed to do something different each and every time to act outside of the normal role of us now if you take if you take the consciousness of the other beings it seems as if they're stuck in a paradigm of their actions basically you know monkeys are monkeys that's that's what they do that's what they do they monkeys they do what monkeys do you take the consciousness or just take the understanding if you ever drove the country you ever took a long ride you know, through any farms or what have you, you gonna hit a shit ton of bugs. You have bugs stuck to your car window all over your car. And it's like, why don't the bugs understand or have the consciousness to understand to get out the way? The bugs think they can fly through the car. They see it's a glass, they can look through the car right out the back window. And yet they drive straight into the window. At night, they're attracted to the light, that's one thing. But during the daytime, this happens as well. And it's like you would think by now, you know, decades, hundreds of years, however long cars been out, <laughs> that they would have figured this shit out by now. Like, yo, why are you driving, flying straight down the road? You're going to get smacked by a car. But no, they haven't. This is part of the cycle. You would think their psyche would adapt to the process and understand to fly over the cars or fly at a certain height or to avoid the cars altogether. But they don't. It's the same thing when you look at buffalo. If you look at a lot of these nature videos when the buffaloes are attacked and killed by lions, it's like, dude, why are you going there? You see the lions be right there, and they can see them. They be in their little tribes and everything, their little squad, and they look over, and they be trying to eat and drink and look at the lions, and it's like, you know they're coming. Why come there? You know, why not come up with a different plan? It's because they don't have that psyche, that consciousness, the way humans do. And this is why, you know, we're higher and above every all the animals or what have you because of consciousness, not because of physical, you know, attributes, because, you know, you can't be the lion, but you can outsmart one. And the thing is, they can't. They can't. They cannot do it. They cannot change. Now, this is how we are different and how we know the program is special and our consciousness is unique on this earth because basically you know if we wanted to and I don't know nobody that's gonna to want to do this but some people have we could live like any other surface animal on this planet if we wanted to if we wanted to go live out with the monkeys and the gorillas out in the forest act like them eat what they eat do what they do we can go do that we want to go chill with a pride, stay with some lions, eat like they eat raw meat, hunt like they hunt. We can do that. But they can't do what we do. They can't have consciousness like we have. They can't come together and say, you know what, I'm going to open a, a water ice stand down on 101st. I'm going to uh, you know, open a corporate office and uh, go to law school or something like that. They can't do that. They can't have the consciousness that we have. 
we can do what we want. Our consciousness is different. So the point of this is to get you into the understanding of how unique we are. I don't want nobody to go back and think the sun is responsible and, you know, it's the main power in God of all. I don't want you to come away with that understanding. It's so you can understand consciousness is the true God. Consciousness is everything. It's over the sun. Consciousness put the sun here. So understanding in that aspect of we all have to basically need the sun to exist. But more than that, consciousness is over that physical uh, energy that we get from the sun itself. That physical, you know, that, that power we get. There's still consciousness which created the power in the first place. So there's something more unique to it. Consciousness than you know the energy in the sun but as we look in this physical world we know we are basically regulated and basically uh need the sun for all of us to exist and uh stay here on this planet so now what if our energy was just as powerful as the sun what if consciousness created the sun to be sort of a battery for our energy as we exist on this physical level and that meditation is a way for us to tap into that energy and recharge ourselves now we understand all the recharging capabilities uh that the yogis and the buddhists talk about with meditation that when you meditate you're basically mimicking the dream world where as we know when you go to sleep it's when your body recharges and heals itself and that if you meditate and once you match the meditation in meditation you can recharge your body and heal yourself just as you would when you go to sleep and this is a fact that we all know you go to bed super tired you feel like you have no energy left you wake up fully energized you don't plug yourself into a wall to talk about this is a process that process that takes place normally you have this energy that basically you know rejuvenates you and makes you ready to go so you have to look at that process and think about it as we know we're getting this energy from the sun and that we also have this energy within us so this is the thing and a lot of people are, are not going to be able to grasp it until I really break it down and explain as I'm about to. Uh, you have heart energy. I talked about this before. I don't think people understand how deep this goes and the connection that it has. Your heart, our hearts, is connected with the sun itself. Our hearts have electromagnetic field. Just like the sun has an electromagnetic field, the earth has an electromagnetic field. There is a relationship between the three. There is a connection that we have to understand exists. So we have been told, we have been talking about we are gods. Talked about this many times. The ancient Egyptians. Everybody who is conscious understands that we are gods. God is in us. Talked about how when you spell sun backwards, it's in us a son in us so if we are God and the son is God then we have to have a son as well and we do have a son within us it's our heart plain and simple make a lot of sense in a second we have a son in us it's our heart our heart is directly connected to the son so now the two most important organs in the body we know the brain the heart plain and simple so now we have seen how the brain is a computer, as I just talked about. The brain is a computer that can be programmed. It's a computer. What about the heart? When you look at it on the terms of computers. Now, we know that without the brain, they would have never came up with the idea or really understood how to make a computer. It's modeled after the human brain. But you have to look at the heart, plain and simple, and understand the connection. So you have to understand, one, that if it wasn't for the heart, and the connection that it has with the sun, they would have never came up with the idea of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Because it's basically how our connections sort of work with the sun. Our hearts, of course, have a wireless connection with the sun. Now, if you've seen the videos on uh, energy and frequency, this is going to make a lot more sense to you. You're going to understand because we're going to get into the number nine a lot. You're going to understand about how much it plays a significant role in everything as we talked about in those videos. So now it says here, the human heart rate of 4,320 beats, that gives you nine when you add them up. Three and two is five plus four is nine. 
beats per hour cannot fully be explained by the singing sun because sound waves don't propagate through the vacuum of space. However, a paper recently published in the Journal of Science describes a new technique for determining when sunspots will form a day or two before they appear on the sun's surface. Stanthus Alondis, doctor student at Stanford's physics department and lead author of the paper said, when sunspots bubble up from inside the sun, they disrupt sound waves that are produced by shifting plasma, a form of superheated gas at the sun's surface. Sunspots are associated with solar flare explosions of charged particles called coronal mass ejections. We heard about this before. The sun's solar flare cycles run from high to low over an 11 year period. They got the numbers we talk about 9 and 11. If we speed up this cycle to 11 cycles per second, we find that one of the harmonics of 11 is 432. The musical connection between the sunspot cycle and the rhythm of the heart indicates that while the sun's song may not be acoustically influencing the solar system, it does translate to a rhythm of coronal mass ejection that affects Earth and other planets. For example, Researchers have noticed a correlation between sunspot activity and planetary alignments of Saturn and Jupiter. Solar maximum, the peak of the sunspot cycle, is correlated with the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter and the solar minimums, which are the low points of the sunspot cycle, when the planets are in opposition. The question is whether the orbits of the two planets are keeping time to the song of the sun, or do their orbits affect the cycles of the sun and its interior harmonies, as some researchers suggest. It's going to make sense in a second. If the sun is the conductor of the solar system orchestra, we would expect Earth to also be in tune with the sun's song. Scientists, particularly those who study earthquakes, once thought that the Earth's long period acoustic waves or free osculations occur as the result of large earthquakes. However, it is now known that the Earth freely oscillates even in seismically inactive periods. The Earth's background free oscillations are known as Earth's hum. The source of the free oscillations of Earth has been a long-standing mystery. Researchers have speculated that the Earth's hum is a result of ocean waves colliding with the seafloor. Russian researchers discovered that global seismic activity which undergoes a modulation period of 54 minutes, 5 and 4 and 9, may in fact be induced by the Earth's free oscillations. A frequency modulation of every 54 minutes is once every 3,240 seconds, that'll give you 9, or 308.66 cycles per second, that'll give you 9 as well, and it's harmonically related to 432 cycles per second. The harmonic connection of 432 cycles per second from the Sun's song suggests that the Earth's hum is most likely coming from atmospheric disturbances caused by the sun. Satellite observations have revealed a rhythmic expansion and contraction of Earth's atmosphere on a nine-day cycle. NASA and University of Colorado Boulder scientists said this nine-day sun induced breathing cycles of Earth's atmosphere corresponds to changes in the sun's magnetic fields as it completes rotations once every 27 days. 27 give you nine. 27 is harmonically related to 432. Sunspots, when directing plasma away from the sun as solar flares and towards Earth, heat up the upper atmosphere, causing the outer atmosphere to expand and contract. These findings emphasize how solar activity impacts Earth rhythmically. The beat of once per every nine days is harmonically in sync with 432 and the heart your heart people remember we started this whole thing off talking about the human heart rate of 432 4320 beats per hour when we look at the harmonic chart above figure one we find that the sixth harmonic is 864 which give you nine which you know six to four is ten eight eighteen one and eight nine by coincidence the diameter of the sun is 864,000 miles. The reason the sun's diameter is related to 864 is because the definition of the mile is 5,280 feet. When you keep breaking that down by multiplication, you'll end up with 144, which 144 will give you 9. The number 528, when treated as a musical note, 
contains the harmonic of 7920 which 9 and 2 will give you 11 plus 7 18 1 and 8 gives you 9 which happens to be the diameter of earth the other numbers we have uh, examined 954 which 5 and 4 give you 9 72 which give that give you 9 as well and 144 also share the harmonic of 7920 the frequency of the 528 which uh when you start multiplying 5 and 8 uh, f uh 52 times 8 until you get to 144 again you'll get 9 and terahertz or trillions of cycles per second is related to the color green as we just got finished talking about green is the result of the sun's photosynthesis in plants which helps explain why alchemical symbols for transformation and personal growth often contains the color green the song of the sun appears to be connected to the music of the spheres after all. What was once believed to be a silly idea from a distant and naive civilization is turning out to be the fundamental vibration of the universe. Quantum physics, and it's cool they said this, quantum physics is now. Quantum physics is catching up with the knowledge of our ancestors with their suggestion that all matter is in some way connected to a greater field of interconnected consciousness i like to think of it as heart consciousness heart consciousness keeping time to the cosmic song so now trust me this is not something new that they just figured out 